In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the initial setup for your NVR system. Uh, so when you first turn it on, the first screen uh, is just going to ask the location, language, and video standard. And uh, we want to keep the video standard at NTSC. That's going to work the best for our cameras. So this one, you're just going to choose your time zone. Uh, down here, it'll have the date and the time, and you'll notice that is in military time. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is a 1 through 24 uh, hourly clock system. Uh, so 1623 would basically mean that it is 423 p.m. Here you're going to create a password. Um, this is extremely important that you write this password down um, since this is a security system. Uh, the only way to get into it will be the password and we have a lot of customers call us back. So again, very important that you write this password down somewhere. Um, so this one is the prompt question. This is simply just to remind you it's a it's, it's a simple password reminder. Um, it is optional. So if you want to fill that out and give yourself a little hint at what the password is, go ahead and write that in there. Uh, next, this is the unlock pattern. So this will be used um, instead of the password just for a quick unlock of your NVR system. Um, it is important to remember your password though, even though the unlock pattern will be used primarily. Uh, sometimes people get complacent with the unlock pattern and then they end up forgetting their password, which creates a lot of problems down the road. Alright, so here we go. Um, you're going to put in your email address. Make sure this is uh, typed correctly because in case you ever forget your password, this email address will be used to recover that. All right, and then security questions. Uh, again, this is optional, but uh, feel free to fill these out um, as a, another method of recovering your password. All right, and you can have it auto check for updates. Um, it's entirely up to you. So device name, um, you can call this whatever you want. I'm, I like to keep it NVR just for simplicity. Um, this is how many channels I have. Uh, language is English. Again, keep this NTSC for the video standard. It's very important. Um, Sync to remote device, you want this on, uh, that way it's going, so the remote devices are your cameras. So this will share the language and the format and the time zone with all of your cameras, so you don't have to do that individually. Um, this is a setting for the instant replay. Uh, by default, it's gonna be at five minutes. Feel free to change that to whatever you want. It's a very little used feature, but just in case. Uh, auto logout, this is basically if, if the NVR is not touched, uh, it goes into a sleep mode. The cameras are still operational, it's just really the screen that turns off. So you can set this uh, time right here. And IPC time sync, again, this is referring to your cameras that are attached to your network. Uh, we want this on so that uh, all the cameras are displaying the same time. And right here, uh, you can leave this at 24. This is just going to designate what time that the uh, cameras sync. Uh, you can turn on the navigation bar um, that just shows a little little bar at the bottom of your screen just to help you figure out stuff, but every uh, all the options are, are found uh, at other places. It's not necessary to have the navigation bar on. 
And of course, uh, last thing is mouse sensitivity. Um, that's just a personal preference right there. So date and time, again, we are in military time, so it is important that you enter in the correct time um, as, it, as it pertains to military format. Um, if you don't want the military format, you can change it to the 12 hour clock here. This is where you do it. So it's important that you grab and change this now um, before you set everything up. DST is daylight savings time. Uh, you can use these to enter in uh, if your state or country follows by daylight savings time. Uh, here's where you would enter in that information there. <clears throat> An NTP, um, this is just network protocol. This You can just leave this stuff all, all its own. Um, by default, all these uh, inputs are correct. So, so this is the holiday section. Um, your cameras will be on a schedule, and if you would like to add any holidays for special schedules, uh, this is where you would do it. And this is just IP address information uh, and general network information. So it'll have your IP address for your NVR up here. That's going to be important to know. And we can use uh, all the default settings for this screen. All right, lastly is uh, the P2P enabling. This is going to be uh, important for your uh, network. Um, this allows your NVR to connect outside of your network uh, to things like our mobile devices and PCs and Macs so that you can do remote viewing. All right, so camera registration. Any camera that you have directly plugged into your NVR will automatically appear down here. So I only have one camera right now. Any cameras that are in your network, you just simply have to do a device search and they're gonna appear at the top. So this camera registration page um, is designed to allow you to add cameras from your network uh, onto your system. So just for example, I've got some IP cameras on the bottom I will add simply by check marking them and then hitting add. So they'll show status as red uh, for a bit and then they'll pop on. The doorbell camera, oh, there it goes. It's a second, but yeah. All right, so they're all working. Uh, once you have all your cameras added, uh, you can move on from the screen. Uh, keep in mind that the camera registration can be accessed from the main menu, so this won't be the only time you can access this. All right, and this sets your recording schedule. Uh, by default, all of your channels are set to record 24 seven. So if you notice, this timeline goes from zero to 24, it's the hours of the day. Um, and regular is checkmarked, which means the green boxes uh, fill in for that. So if you would like to turn these off or reduce the time, simply just make sure you're clicked on regular. And then left clicking any one of the square sections will reduce the hours that your camera films. And then from here, you can also set motion detection and your IDS um, simply by clicking that box and then left clicking where you want the motion detection to take place. Um, again, this screen can be accessed from the main menu, um, so you don't have to worry about doing this right now. You can, you can adjust this at a later time. Uh, same thing for snapshot mode. Uh, this is simply just taking screen grabs of what your camera is seeing, and this is setting the schedule for that. Okay, and uh, that is it. We are all done setting up the NVR, and you can just hit okay, and it'll take you to your live view.